If you want to be a firefighter, whether career or volunteer, there needs to be a certain passion and pride and drive for the job or else you can become stagnant just like any other career. And still, what you definitely don't want to become does not benefit the public or yourself. Monday morning we started with the box maze. The box maze is an individual event. You may think, well, why are you doing it on an individual basis? The biggest thing we're trying to take away from this is, is if, heaven forbid, they get disoriented or they get lost from their partner, that they can find an exterior wall, maintain orientation on that wall until they come to a door or window. So the biggest thing we're trying to stress there is, is to stay oriented on an outside wall. And that's, that's, that's the biggest takeaway from the box maze evolution. They need to know the tools they're gonna to be using and they learned how to maintain them, how to clean them what to look for, any you know defects in it. They need to know all that kind of stuff because they're gonna be dependent on those tools when they arrive on the fire scene. And uh, they learned how to do care and maintenance of a hand tool, flathead axe in particular. And after that, they went straight into how to force a, a window using a halligan. So we show them where to place the halligan, what part of the halligan to use when forcing the window, how to prop the window open when making entry, and why all that stuff is important. Tuesday night we moved into the night burn, which uh, the biggest takeaway from that is, and the big thing that everybody likes is, it's actual fire. They bring their families down, it's an evening event, so it's, uh, you know, the fire, it, of course it looks better at night, and they're all in a team, they're, we're fighting four different fires. It's an enjoyable night for the students, they get to kind of put together what we've told them over the last few weeks, and uh, get to showcase those things in front of their family members. Some departments don't have the opportunity to train on those props. You know, the car, the Christmas tree, the propane tank, and the pump flange. And, and, and one great thing about being out here is we have all of that to help train and prepare them. It's just nice to see the excitement on their faces because that's what they're here to do. They're here to fight fire. And it's nice to see the excitement on their faces, on their families' faces. So it just makes my job, our job, a lot more fun.
class 211, they really seem to be picking up on the basics and the attention to detail. They seem to be coming together for the most part. Uh, there's a few instances of being a little bit rattled and agitated, but they are quickly understanding that it's really just a means to try to stress them and get them in an uncomfortable environment, which is what we're used to working in, and they need to be able to function in those capacities in the real world. So the class 211, we're really happy with what, what has happened with y'all so far. Y'all are a really good group, a bunch of good personalities, good people. As long as you just stay, stay trying to learn, just stay hungry to learn in the fire service, you'll continue leaps and bounds from where you're at. And y'all are in a very good spot. Good job on what you have done so far. Um, truth is, you're just getting started. So buckle up, have a good time, and stay safe.